Hey guys, and welcome back to another Java programming tutorial. In today's video, we're going to be going over enums. Now, enums are pretty much a collection of constants that we can reference and then we can do things with those constants. And uh, they are pretty cool and uh, just make our code more readable. And yeah, you guys will see when we go through the video. So the first step is to create an enum. Now to do that, it's similar to creating a class or an interface or whatever. Go to your package, right click, we're going to click new and then enum. So for enum, I'm just going to name mine. Hmm, actually, I'm just going to name mine level because uh, you'll see why it just makes sense for this example. So again, the syntax here is, is public enum level rather than like class or interface or whatever, right? So in here is where we're going to define our constants, okay? Now, this is really useful because we don't have to do like public static int uh, whatever, like the name. Like we can literally just type whatever value we want our constant to be, and typically it's a string. So in my case, I'm going to go for level. I'm going to go in all caps. You don't have to go in all caps. I'm going to go high, medium, and low. Okay. Now, these are the three constants I'm going to store in my level enum. So we have high, medium, low. And yeah, that's literally all I'm going to do right now for my enum. It just means we have three constants that we can reference from level. And these are the three. And obviously, you could do as many as you want and just keep going with commas on. And I think you can put them on the same line as well. It just makes it more readable if you do them uh, like other lines. Okay, so there we go. Three constants. Now I'm going to show you how we can actually use this enum and you'll start to understand uh, how it works. So to use this enum, we have to create a new uh, instance of it. So to do this, I'm going to say level and we'll just say LVL equals new. Uh, actually, I think it's like this it was level dot and then yeah, so we say high, low and medium. So in my case, we'll just pick low and I'll put a semicolon and now you can see it's all showing up in different colors and this is working fine. So now that we have this uh, as a constant, we can do certain things with it, right? So typically you might want to check uh, what value your constant is. So like what value is level. So we can obviously use these in an if statement uh, like so. So if I say like if LVL equals equals and then I think it's level uh, dot and then we'll start at low I guess and we'll just work our way up to high and we'd say L if um, or else if and we'll say LVL equals equals and then level dot and medium Okay, we'll do something in there and then finally else because if it's not lower medium, it must be high uh, Then we'll just do something here. So in this case, we'll just say system dot out dot print ln and we're just gonna print level for all of them just because I want to show uh, What this does? Okay. Oh, what the heck did I just do there? Okay. Anyways Okay, so now we're just printing level each time and actually let's just run this now and see what happens So you see we get low so when we print out level, it's simply just going to print like whatever the constant is that we have. And that's because uh, it has like a little dot to string method built in so we can convert these into a string. And I'll, I'll show you what I mean by that. So pretty much say we wanted to get this because right now, like it's not a string. It's not an int, it's not a boolean. We don't really know what type it is. It's just like in level, like it's an enum. So to actually get this as a string value, if we wanted to do something with it or store it, we can use dot to string. So if I say string, uh, we'll say e. En, why not? Why not? Uh, we'll say is equal to LVL dot to string. And that's just going to convert this to a string for us. And then we can do all our string operations or whatnot with that. All right. Uh, so that's how you get it to a string. Now, another really useful thing with enums is we can actually get all the different values of enums and print that to the screen. So I do system dot out dot print ln. And I believe the way we do this is we go level dot values yes there we are so we go level dot values and if we hit that or if we type that in you're going to see when we run this now it gives us um well it, it's actually giving us an array with the values so when we try to print that we're getting like you know the memory address of it so once we have these values i'm actually just going to store this in an array so that we can then iterate through it and print them out what i'm going to do is i'll say level array and this is the way you have to do it uh let's say arr is equal to and then level dot values. Okay, so that's working fine. So what we're going to do now is we'll just create a quick for loop. So and I'll show you how we can loop through all the different values. So say for e or um, what should it be? S level level e and then we'll say in arr. What we'll do is we'll simply just print out e, okay? 
So system print out E, and then we can see all the different constants that we're gonna get. So let's go here, and you see we get high, medium, low, and then it just prints low again, just because we're doing this little if statement here, okay? And that's how you can loop through all the different values. So that's really cool, um, but you might say, okay, well, th that's cool, Tim, but is this really that useful? Like we just have these constants. Well, there's a few other things that we can do inside of this enum. We can add some methods uh, and some constructors as well so that these constants actually point to certain values, kind of similar to like a hash table or hash map that I showed you before. So the way that we can do that is we need to create, first of all, a variable that's gonna be private. So in this case, I'm gonna say private and I'll say uh, actually int level LVL num, okay? So this is going to just be a private value that's just going to store the value of each of these, uh, so like low, medium, high, the value of all these levels. So to set this value, what we need to do is we need to create a constructor for our enum, and you'll see how this works in a second. So I'm just going to say public level int and then num, okay, and in here, actually what are we getting here, remove invalid modifiers. Legal modifier for enum construct only private is permitted. Okay, so let's just do this. Private, sorry, my bad. Private because we're just gonna call it on here. You'll see in a second. Private level int num, and then we're just gonna say this dot lvl num is equal to num. Okay, there we go. So now what I can actually do is you see how these are highlighting in red. So since this is a private constructor, that means we're gonna define this variable based on what constant we choose for the enum. So I'm going to put brackets here and I'm going to define high as three, medium as two, and low as one. Now what this is going to do is it's going to keep our same constants of high, medium, and low. But when we create a new constant, it's going to um, activate this constructor of level and it's going to set this level num equal to whatever value uh, we put in the brackets here. So in this case, three, two, one, we could obviously have multiple, uh, what do you call it, parameters here and then we could have multiple arguments here and we can have a ton of different values and yeah so the only issue is since this value is private we're going to need a way to access it from our main here because that's probably where we're going to want to use it so that means we're going to have to create a few methods to will change that level num and to get that level num so we've done this before but actually i don't think i can do a public uh and we'll see if we can public get level and then in here we'll simply return I guess this is going to need to be an int public int get level we'll simply return uh, this dot lvl num okay yeah so that does work fine i just can't do a public constructor okay so this is just going to give us the level num uh, if we call get level on our uh, enum okay now to change this uh, uh what do you call it level num what i'm going to do is i'm going to do set lvl and instead of having int here it's just going to be a void okay and all we're going to say is this dot lvl num is equal to num and then we're going to put in here int num okay perfect so now what we're doing is we have a way to not only get the level num but to change it so now let's try using this out in our main and see how this works so i'm just going to get rid of all this stuff because we don't need this for right now so right now we have our level and it's uh, level dot low so to actually get the value of this level, we can use something called uh, get value of, or we can use that method that we had here. So in this case, I'm gonna say get level. So what I'll do is I'll say uh, system dot out dot print ln, and in here we'll say LVL dot, and then what was the thing we were using? Get level like this. So now if we print this out to the screen, we should be getting one, and indeed we are, we're getting one. So now I want to show you this thing. It's called get value of, okay? And is it it's value of or get value of? I'm not sure. We'll see. So I'm pretty sure if we do something like this, level dot value of, yes, that is exactly what it is. And then we pick, uh, we type in whatever the enum is. So in this case, we could say low. Um, it's going to give us. Let's see. What's the issue here? Okay, yeah, so the issue is I just gotta put this in string. I just forgot about that. So if I do level dot get value of, and say I put a string in here, so like say someone was typing in and um, into the computer and they type in a string, right? And you wanna pass this into get value of, we see what we're actually gonna get is we get low, right? Because that is the value of this string um, in the enum. Although it's not a string, it, it can like determine that, okay? So that's what value of is used for. I can't really give you any good examples of them because I don't really know any good examples of using value of, but for any of you that might see some use in it, I figured I would show it to you. So I guess we can do an example now of just setting the level just to make sure that all of that is working. Let's say LVL 
dot set level and in this case let's say five and then let's just grab this again actually and we can delete this from up here and now i'm just simply going to print out uh what do you call it lvl dot get level and just make sure that everything is changing and working fine and there we go we get a level of five so that is how we can use edums Pretty much they're used for when you want to have a collection of different constants. Maybe you want to loop through, see what those constants are. And it just makes our code kind of readable, right? Because we have level dot low, and then that low can point to like five, two, one, whatever. And that's all stored within our enum right here. Obviously, you can have as many enums as you want, and you'll really see the use of them further on in Java when you're creating like larger programs, okay? So anyways, that has been it for this video. If you guys enjoyed, please make sure you leave a like and subscribe, and I will see you again in another video. Oh, 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 oh,